Hello peoples, I just got done watching Wonder Woman 1984. I finally saw a new movie. Last new movie I saw was Tenet. So it's nice to see a brand new movie every once in a while. I hope you guys had a good Christmas. And tell me what you guys got. I got some nerdy stuff I'll show you guys. I know that I'm a little bit old for this, but I got, I got Baby Yoda. I got a Baby Yoda. Look at him. And I'll show you all my other nerdy stuff. The 10 inch Joker Funko thing. This thing's awesome. And my most favorite thing of all, my most favorite one I got, not related to DC or anything, but this thing is awesome. So hope you guys had a good Christmas. And yeah, let's get right into this review for Wonder Woman 1984. I wanna go starting off right, start off exactly how I feel. I think the first one is better. I gave the first one an 8 out of 10 last time I watched it. And I still liked this movie, and I liked it quite a bit. But still, I had to keep on... And right now, initially when I just got done watching the movie, I was like, this one, I like this one more. But I thought about it, I let it um, digest a little bit. I was, I was like, which one's going to age better? And the, And even though the third act to the first Wonder Woman is not the best, the first two acts to the first one automatically beat this whole this movie as a whole so of course this this movie as a whole is better than the third act and i would say the um the big emotional moment of the movie um where diana makes a a huge character choice game the best part of the movie by the way that character moment beat the first one and something that they did better this time around gal gadot or godot or whatever her performance was out of this world she did she did an even better job this time around. She gave a fantastic performance as Wonder Woman, and I absolutely loved it. <laughs> she was really good in the movie. Like I said, there is the best part of the, the movie is her huge character moment, and it'd be every single action sequence, it'd be everything because it's just that impactful, the choice that she had to make. Um, Hans Zimmer's score is really good, except for one huge problem I have with it. <laughs> um, I feel like, I like how um, Steve's role didn't feel like, oh, we're bringing back Steve Trevor. It did, um, I don't want to spoil anything, but the way they brought him back kind of ties into the premise of the movie. So it's not like, oh yeah, Steve's back. And But I just hope they didn't go with that premise of the movie just to solely bring him back. Because if that's the case, that just feels kind of stupid. But um, it didn't feel like, oh, um, oh, Steve's back. It felt natural to what the story was trying to do. Pedro Pascal in this movie was really, really good. He did a fantastic job with what um with what he had to do with his role. I mean, it's extremely over the top, and I loved it. Kristen Wiig was really good in the movie. Um, they kind of left um her kind of not really knowing exactly what the deal is with her. <laughs> it, it's like okay, what how she how her story ends, um, but. I don't know if they're trying to set her up for the, the for the third one, or she will even be in the third one. I don't know. The message at the end, I know you probably heard this from a lot of other reviewers, because I can guarantee you, if you're watching my review, you have seen other reviews before this. But um, the um, the message at the end, really, it's hard. And I don't want, I'm not going to say what everyone else says about the message, because you probably heard the whole entire thing about it in multiple other reviews. But it is really, really impactful, and says a lot. And yeah, the fish out of the water sequences um, with Steve Trevor were really fun, really, really funny, like versus the first one. And this movie did get quite funny at sometimes. But I am very conflicted on how I feel about the action in this movie. I can tell you this for sure that the action in the first one is far superior, far superior. Even in the third act, even though the third act of the first one goes all bombastic and a little too much, even that's better than most of the action in this movie. But I'll say, I, did, I didn't dislike the action. The action in this movie was fine. I was able to watch it and enjoy it and have smiles on my face, and have a smile on my face while I was watching it. I can't see myself, like, in, like, you know how when you get a John Wick movie, you sometimes go back to watch a specific scene of an action sequence? I do not see myself going back to Wonder Woman 1984 to watch that car chase sequence again. I, I just don't see it. It's almost like the Ant-Man movies. Um, I, I'm not saying this movie has, is um, like Ant-Man at all. I'm just saying with the action, it's not like, you know, like, oh, that's so cool. 
Um, there's a couple moments in an actual sequence where I think, oh, that's a great moment, but it was nothing really to do with like, a, oh, that character looks cool doing that. Especially in the um, um, Cheetah Showdown. Well, I'll get to that. But the action was over the top. I enjoyed the over the top message. I was laughing. I had a good time with it. But I, like I said, the action was like 11 times better than the first one. And my problem, let's just lean that to get into my problems with the movie. There are a lot of plot conveniences here and there. It's not terrible, but and it, it never really bothered me too much, but it's there and I recognized it. So, yeah. Um, like I said, Hans Zimmer's score was really good in this movie, but I was really let down when he reused music from another movie at the climax. It just felt lazy and it's like, well, um, because, you know, I'm going to say, he reused mu music from Batman v Superman at the very, at the opening of the movie. I was like, are they going to try to tie in Batman to this? Because I always kind of thought, like, that's the Wayne's Death theme song. And so why is the Wayne's Death theme song getting into Wonder Woman 1984? I was thinking, me for a second, I was like, oh, crap, are you going to, are they doing like a, oh, I wish the Waynes were dead thing? But I, I, it's just. When I, like, I, I'm in, I'm, I have band class, and so I know all about these musical scores, and I read into it a lot more than other people, but that really did bother me at the end. It almost, it kind of almost ruined the moment for me, but it still hit home. Um, the CG in this movie, uh, it, it was muddy. It really was. Um, you can tell which shots were CG, CG, and you could tell which shots were practical, and, because the CG in this movie wasn't really that good. It wasn't like a, it wasn't like Captain Marvel CGI bad, but it wasn't like anything to be like, wow, that looks really convincing. Um, the Cheetah Showdown at the end was it, it suffered from like the Spider Man Three Black Panther problem where it's just too dark to see what's going on, <laughs> and especially and heck, I watch this on an OLED TV. Like on an OLED TV, you should know what's going on. And I kind of knew, I guess. And, but, but by the end of it, I was like, they just kind of threw each other around. But I will say, I did enjoy the action sequence where, um, I think they're in the White House or the museum, one of the two. They're in the White House and the museum and Cheetah and Wonder Woman are just literally throwing each other. <laughs> and I loved it, it was great. <laughs> A lot of fun with that. But the showdown at the end was, I was like, uh, I guess. It just felt too final battle or we're having it in the dark. Um, and my last problem I have was the opening to this movie, um, was very overlong. It went on about five to ten minutes too long. And I have seen a lot of complaints saying, oh, this movie could be like 30 minutes shorter. I don't necessarily agree with that per se. I can agree that it can be shorter, but not exactly 30 minutes. I think you can maybe take down 10 to 15 minutes, but not a full 30 minutes. I, don't th I think the movie would suffer from that. But overall, like I said, I really enjoyed Wonder Woman, uh, Wonder Woman 1984. It, um, I think, I, I'm glad I watched the reviews this time because this time they told me to lower my expectations because my expectations are very high because I really enjoyed the first trailer, not the second one, not so much. But I will say, with the expectations that the reviews set, set for me, I, um, I did enjoy it more than I would have if I wasn't, um, if my expectations were there. Overall, I'm going to give Wonder Woman 1984 a 7.9 out of 10. Really enjoyed it. It's a great addition to the DCEU. It has problems, but it's new material. I'm glad I, I'll take what I can get. This is good. So yeah. Anyways, like, share, like, share, subscribe, and stuff like that, and adios.